Philly Fingers here, discussing how a dry break can really kill your game. We've all been there before, where we break and we come up dry. In this example here, you see I almost made the eight ball, but I didn't. I came up dry. This now enables my opponent to have free reign at the table. Whether he wants to play safe or start a run, they're in control. And as you see here, I'm not even switching out to my playing cue. I'm just using my BK Rush break cue as I run out this rack. That shows how a dry break can sometimes leave your opponent so wide open that they don't even need a playing cue. They can still run out with a break cue. So how do we prevent this? How do we stop from being the one seated at the table watching our opponents run out rack after rack? Well, it's practice, right? It's as simple as that. We don't spend enough time practicing our break shot and making sure that we A, just make a solid break and pocket a ball because we want to just stay at the table. We don't have to pocket a ball and complete a run out, but we do want to pocket a ball and then maybe play safe, or at the very least, we want to be in control of our own destiny. If the pros spend hours and hours practicing their break shot, then why don't we? They know if you can't break, you can't break and run. Please excuse the waitress, but I have to drink when I play. So we need to start accepting that the break shot is the first shot in pool and perhaps the most important. Hence, we need to dedicate enough time to breaking rack after rack and practicing our breaking style. Otherwise, just like you see here, your opponent is just gonna come to the table and possibly run out. That's my take on the dry break. Till next time.